Hello, it's the uh, 12th of September today. Um, spring has started, some of the tomatoes are planted, um, the days are getting a lot longer, and everything's um, growing nicely. So, here in the left bed, we've, um, we've of course planted the tomatoes. Um, you can see them through the little cover. Um, they're protected because we're still getting uh, some cold days, and it's actually been quite a cold start to the spring. Um, so I've kept the tops closed too. Um, I'm hoping that they uh, get a head start um, over the other ones that are still in the greenhouse. But we'll see, because I've got a couple of spaces uh, prepared. So the greenhouse tomatoes, which I'll show in a second, um, can go in soonish, I guess, probably in a month. And we'll see if they catch up. Uh, if they do, of course, then we won't... Um, bother next year maybe but I guess it's always fun to start them early um, the peas um, they've started climbing up um, I've got a little pea pod there so that's um that's pretty good hopefully we get lots lots more um, you know I'm hoping they're not snow peas I just bought a punnet from uh, one of the markets around here so we'll see no harm though if it's not um, Swiss chard, that's still slowly growing, um, and it's been eating eating pretty fast. So um, I don't think it likes me at the moment because it's really not getting to grow very high. Um, I planted some some little purple onions which I'd started from seed a while back. Um, so I just chucked those in, and they um, they seem to be doing okay. Um, got a big bush of chamomile here. Um, I was thinking I might have to hack it back at some point over summer because it might take over too much room, but we'll wait and see for that. Um, the capsicums, or peppers, I'm not actually sure which ones have survived and which ones have died because that's dead. Uh, but I think these have survived unless we get a really cold spell the next few weeks. Um, they should shoot off and off we go. Um, and here we've got rocket at the front still um, lobelias are starting to to flower and we've got some chamomile I found we've got um, quite a few self-seeded ones so I just moved them around um, yeah the coriander's doing well the garlic's coming along nicely um, yeah it's starting to put on some weight so that's good what are we September October November so it's probably eight weeks eight weeks to go so that'll be good and this, uh, this capsicum here, um, still doing well. I'm actually hoping these ones, and I need to go through and look at um, some photos because I really can't remember. I hope they're the long red, uh, red ones, peppers. But we'll see. If they're the other ones, well, that's fine. Um, yeah, this one's, this one's dead though. But I'll leave it in there. You never know, it might shoot from the base. Um, spinach is coming along nicely in this garden. Moving to this bed, the broccolini is really uh, firing off now. So um, hopefully in a couple of weeks, a few weeks, three weeks, four weeks, we'll get some broccolini. Um, I want to plant a zucchini in here soon. Um, so this middle one here, that uh, that may have to get removed, but that's not the end of the world. Um, all the lemons were taken off the tree. And it's got some little flower buds everywhere. So that's a positive sign, some new growth as well. Um, yeah. <coughs> In the back bed, the spinach is getting close to finishing, I guess. Had it in there for since April. No. Yeah around April maybe, maybe a tiny bit earlier. So it's really done its job really well. Um, sweet peas are starting to take off, which is good. So I think in about a week, I'll rip out the spinach. I'll leave in the rocket, because we've got the rocket at the front. Um, and I've, I remember that I planted some garlic, so I'll try and leave that in there as well. Um, but you'll rip out the spinach, and we're gonna put corn um, and cucumbers. So that should be an interesting uh, little uh, bed. It always gets full. I think I've got 15 corns for that little space. So um, that's pretty good. The olive tree is starting to get some flowers. Um, 
which is always a pretty sight in spring. So, good times. Oh, there's a little greenhouse. <laughs> so, we've got uh, some sunflowers, some more cucumbers, some. Um, that's the zucchini, Mr. Costa. Uh, some corn, one shot up. This was planted a bit later than the others. Um, some basil that's from a packet of seeds, which isn't doing very well. Um, and these basils. I um, saved them from last year just as a stalk and just uh, crunched them up over the soil and it's done really well. Um, got them more cucumbers. This year we're really going hardcore on cucumbers because I want to know uh, which one grows because if anyone watched last year we had such a disappointing season. Um, the corn for that back bed um, and the tomatoes. Can we get a good shot? Tomatoes in here are doing really well. Um, nice and thick, it's like a little tomato forest. So I think I've grown too many, but we'll see. We'll see if we can find a spot. And these little hoop houses. Um, I've got a squash plant here, so small little scallopini ones, I think. So that's come along really well. Um, do I see a snail? Um, oh, I don't think it's a snail. No, it's too small for a snail. It was a bug of some sort. Um, yeah, so that's got a really good head start. So we planted on, I planted that about a month, month and a go, bit ago. I actually planted two, and I didn't, I've just noticed that the other one's appearing too. So, um, you'll let them grow up. Um, Put a cage up and see how well they go. Radishes are coming along, they're ready for harvest. Um, Salvanova lettuce is good. And in here all the spinach is um, yeah, doing well. The lettuces are pumping up. So by the end of the uh, end of the month we'll pull off this plastic, maybe harvest all the spinach. Sorry, Swiss chard. And um, yeah, we've got to then have a wine barrel of lettuces. So yeah. 12th of September, all doing well.